Welcome to a video tutorial from Valencia Photography Workshops and me, Stephen Power. This one is about unboxing and testing the Javasla Lavalier lapel microphone, which is an inexpensive microphone found on Amazon and other places for about $10 or £10. It can be used with a smartphone or plugged straight into a camera or a computer. It's neatly packaged in a simple card box with some interesting wording and photographs on it. There is also a phone number and an email address for the Swedish distributor, although I'm not sure that they would want everybody calling and emailing. Inside the box you have the instructions, you have the main lead, main cable and connector with the microphone on the end. The main cable has a TRRS three band connector which allows the microphone to work with smartphones. The microphone itself has a baffle made of foam which helps to stop noises from plosive sounds like P and B and popping sounds and also might help with wind noise if used outside. It's also got a very sturdy clip. This additional accessory is for using the microphone when plugged into a camera or a computer. And it also has this adapter for using the microphone with some smartphones which won't allow the main connector to fit properly into the phone. All of this is covered in the simple but well designed instruction leaflet which tries to overcome some of the issues with understanding these things with second languages. Given the low cost of this mic the additional accessories and adapters are very nice and welcome touch. So here's a quick test. This is a test of the Javasla Lavalier lapel mic plugged directly into my camera, the Canon 5D3. It's important to note here that I've had to use one of the adapters that came with the mic, which has the two-banded connector, the TRS connector, as the three-banded connector, which is for phones, won't work if it's plugged directly into a camera or a, a computer, for example. You can see that I've got it around my neck or just on my um, the top of my sweater here, um, and you'll get an idea of how it's working. I've set the audio input manually on the camera as I found that when it was set to auto it was slightly distorting so I've set it about 40% of audio input and then I might have to adjust it again um, later on in the software and bring it back up a bit but I just felt that although that's quite fiddly it's sort of safer to do that um, rather than have the whole thing distorted. So I went slightly under um, the input manually and um, then I'll I might, if I need to bring it back up, um, I will do. I'll tell you here whether I did or not. Um, so that's the mic plugged straight into the camera. Um, the lead on it, uh, the cable, is about um, two metres maybe. It's going under my sweater at the moment. And then out to the camera, that's a reasonable distance, um, if, particularly if you're working indoors for outdoor work. Um, if you want wider shots while talking, um, then you might want to use your phone and record directly into the phone. And that will be the next test coming up now. So this is a test of the Javasla Lavalier lapel mic um, directly into my smartphone which is a Nokia 7 Plus. Now the important thing to note here is that 
I've had to use an adapter that comes with the microphone because even though the main cable has a TRRS a three band connector on it, it won't fit snugly into this phone. And apparently that's the case with some other phones as well, including the Huawei and some others, uh, most roller, I think. But it's all in the um, instruction manual. And so if you find that this connector doesn't fit well, then you might need to use this adapter to go with it. Um, so basically the advantages of plugging um, a lapel mic directly into your phone are that you can get further away from the camera um, or you can walk around with your phone if you're recording directly into it, you know, vlogging on the go, as they say, and down with the kids. And um, so that, but you have to be careful, I think, in terms of finding the right um, app to use it with, and then setting the app carefully. I found that with one app I used, it was completely distorted. And with this app, the Easy Recording app, um, you have to set it to main. And if you're just using the phone by itself, you can set it to rear, and that should work. Um, but anyway, you can be the judge of the sound. And um, I hope you enjoyed this test. One thing now to tell you that's very important is that when you're using your phone to record directly separately from the video you're going to have to link up the two things so in order to link the audio or to synchronize the audio with the video one way to do it is to clap and then sync up the audio track with from the audio track from the, the phone with the audio track in the camera where you can see the spikes when you clap like this. Um, if you do that, then it should uh, match up, but there are other ways to do it depending on the software you use. That's just a little tip. Hope you enjoyed this um, test and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.